Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and I'm going to take a look at the Let Them Eat Cake Experiment. So here is where I put the cake. Here is where I put the new bedding that doesn't have any cake in it. So let me look and see what worms. So we've got some worms over in the no cake area. So that's sort of good. I mean, at least it means they didn't run screaming over to the not cake. So let's have a look. Let's kind of peel away this area here and see what's going on. It's been a week now, so let's let's see. So I'm still seeing you know, just random amounts of worms. Nothing, no big worms, just a handful of worms over there. This didn't have a real big population to start with. But let's see what I find. So, it appears that worms do like cake. So, there we have it. Worm ball and cake. Let's see. Kind of a weird smell. I'm not sure what the smell is. Moldy cake? Yeah, probably. The little baby ones, but it's doing the same thing that bread does where it somehow dehydrates completely and then you end up having to add more water. So there we go. Worms like their cake. I can't remember who it was that predicted that they would like their cake, but they were right. And Lilia was also right when she said that when it started getting moldy and yucky that the worms would move in, and that's some mold right there. And it smells moldy. So I'm gonna do a really good job of get off there. Get all right. I'm gonna fluff the whole thing up now that I know that they won't be hurt by the cake. I'm gonna break it up a little bit more, make sure that it stays hydrated. Yep. Don't see any evidence of undesirable bugs or a large concentration of the helpers. But certainly, they are having a, a party. A cake. Oh, look at that. Even more. And that's, that's a slice of cake there. Looks like they've eaten all the frosting. Must be all the juveniles eating all the frosting off the cake. So I'm going to kind of make sure the whole thing stays fluffed up so it doesn't go anaerobic. I'm going to hang around there. Worm has been thrown into public. Yeah. Little baby worm. So, yeah, there's another deeper portion of it where got a large concentration of worms. I am not super thrilled about the smell because, you know, it's one of those, uh, like, refrigerator science projects that my husband likes to talk about. Um... Uh, I don't know. I do have a concentration of potworms here. Or fruit fly maggots. I'm not sure which one. They're kind of big for potworms in my experience, but yeah. I do have some fruit flies down here due to the large amount of apples being fed. So yeah, looks like they're doing a good job with everything else. Still got some stems left over from the spices that I had, herbs I had been putting in there. And so these worms are acclimated to just about everything. 
Yep, it's a uh, good moisture level. I am going to have to go and wash my hands though after this. This is kind of gross. Even for me, I don't normally have a problem digging in with the worms here, but even for me, the moldy cake is, is a little bit, a little bit icky, even for me. So I'm going to put the cake kind of in a row instead of concentrating it in one area now. Break it up a little bit more. And then bury it back up. I don't think they need anything more. I think, I think they have enough. Definitely enough for another week. So I will just cover those little buddies up. Put the dang blue bag or green bag in there. Get my hitchhikers off of the bubble wrap. And then tuck those little buddies back in for another week. Night night babies. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Muddy, icky, moldy thumbs up today. Uh, click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, hit the little bell icon if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.